Hello everyone, welcome to the hopeful finale of the Power Rangers side-scrolling beat-em-up game. We will be continuing off with the next stage, which should be Trini Stage. Or at least the one that I say is Trini Stage. We should be in like a hotel or something. Yeah, okay, so. Again, I really love the Ranger sprites in this game. <laughs> Did she, I forgot that's her combo. She like knees you in the groin and, and uh, also overhead throw. Nice. Man, I love Trini. She was so awesome. Wait until you see Billy's combo. Billy's combo is great. Ooh, can't. Okay. Oh, we gotta. Ah! Don't. No kicks! Don't dive kick me! You're not Yun or Yang. Or Rufus if you play Street Fighter 4. See, you don't have to open the door. You destroy the door. That's how we roll. <laughs> he, he jumped back. Oh, he jumped back to do a dive kick and instead got hit by the laser in midair. Nice. Ah! I got better ones. Ow! No matter how good you are at martial arts, a knife will beat you every time it hits you. I'm just saying. Come on. Ah, there you go. Oh! So, he's like, ah, I'm tired of jump kicking. I'm tired of jump kicking, I'm just going to stab you. There we go. So, the boss of this area, you don't really need to use your super weapon. In fact, there's a mini boss that you need to use your super weapon on a lot more. The mini boss of this stage is really annoying. It doesn't really kill you. Like, in terms of actually a threat to your life, not really. It's just a pain in the ass to try and kill. Come on. They're like frogmen, they just keep bouncing around. Damn. There you go. This is gonna tick throw you. Ah. Stop shaking me! Damn! Okay, come on. That's just not fair. Ah! Ooh, anti-airs. There we go, now we get to transform. We also get a full life fill. Because look at how much life we've lost. So we fight some genie Anubis dog thing. I don't know. But yeah, we get, we get daggers. We get our own knives. Man, you can tell they're tough. If they have, like, no eyes, they must be tough. They have to hit us with sound. So yeah, this stage is actually a little difficult just because there's a lot of pitfalls that you could suffer through. Time for an auto scroller. Everyone's favorite. You know, if there was a point system, I'd probably be chasing after those a little bit more, but there's not. Surprisingly, there isn't. But the one game that kicks your ass does have a point system, which I'm glad for. Let's me give extra lives. It continues. Oh, that's right. You gotta. Oh, 
Oh no, it's gonna fall! Oh, look at that, how can- <laughs> thanks. Oh. Again, the game doesn't really teach you how to- how to wall jump, you kinda just have to figure it out. No fair, you get a gun. Man, why couldn't the Black Ranger keep his gun battle axe thing? That was so cool. I mean, I guess as an axe it's cool, but... I'm just saying, if I could fire like a gun. The Pink Ranger keeps using her bow as a bow, though most of the time you just smack people with it. shimmy across. Oh, that's right. I I remember. The sound, okay, the sound it makes when you hit, like, something steel is really, it's really weird. Like that. It's a really strange sound to me. Oh, well, here's her bomb. Lightning! I like hers a lot. There we go. I actually like a lot of the Rangers, um, I guess, bomb attacks. Now, you could do platforming. You could, but why? You could platform, but that leaves you in danger. Ah, like this. Ooh. See, this game's- okay, here's the mini-boss. Watch what this thing can do. Ah. Is it really not gonna do it? Please tell me it doesn't. Oh my god! The mi- oh, wow. Let me get this jump right. Ooh. The thing about that mini boss is it tends to go under the floor, so the fact that it didn't is actually a miracle. I was so sure I would need to use my bomb to kill it, but I decided to play nice. So this boss is actually fairly easy. If you got to stay around here and are fast enough, he can't actually attack you. See, because he has a wind-up, because he has to stick his finger out like that. And he's just- I didn't even have to use my bomb, he is the easiest boss in the game. Because you only have to move a little bit to each side. So, real quick, I want to talk about Trini's actress, Twi Trang. Uh, she was a Vietnamese actress. Uh, sadly, she passed away back in 2001. Uh, she passed away due to dying in a car accident. She died September 3rd, 2001, so... It wasn't too far after her time on Power Rangers. About, it was a few years, like six years. Watch Billy's combo if you can. It's great. Again, this is back when he was a nerd. So see how he like ducks his head when he punches? But yeah, when it came to her, she was just such a nice person from all accounts. So it's a great shame that she passed away very young. She was 27. I love his combo. Oh my god, I forgot his jump. Look at this throw. I love, I love Billy's... Like, everything about him is great in this game. Look at that jump kick animation. Now, Billy's actor, um... Oh god, was it? It was something Yates, I believe. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, he's actually a gymnast. He's not a martial artist. Him and Amy Jo Johnson, who is Kimberly Hart, the Pink Ranger, uh, they were both gymnasts. 
Which is kind of what the show called for. It was like, I need we need you to either be martial artist or gymnast. Someone who's able to be flexible, who's able to do stuff. You know. Be acrobatic and athletic. Ooh, that was nice. So this is the final stage of the game before we get to uh, my favorite part of the game. The parts that I actually use uh, passwords for. Because this game is really short. Again, we're, we're... What? About 40 minutes into the game. If you're going by the time of the last video. So... We should be able to finish this pretty quickly. There we go. We reached the halfway points. So that guy's boss fight's actually a little annoying. It's a little challenging, but not too bad. So, the kind of problem that Billy's actor faced was that, well, he's gay. And he faced a lot of discrimination, not by his fellow actors, his co-actors, his co-workers, but by, I think, at the very least, it was the tech team. A lot of the tech team made jokes at him and did not make it a healthy environment to work in. So, when... He thinks back on Power Rangers. He he enjoys a lot of his co-workers, but it's a lot of the tech crew, the directors, that he just did not like. They did not make an enjoyable time for him because of all the anti-gay remarks and jokes that they would make. So when it came time for this big anniversary episode a few years ago in the Power Rangers Megaforce show, Super Megaforce, uh, Billy's actor elected to not show up again. Big shame, because I know he enjoys the fans, he enjoys the people who uh, enjoyed his time as, as Billy on the Power Rangers. Ow! How did I dodge that? Wow, some janky hitboxes. Ow, ooh, ooh. Super health, ah! No longer super health, oh no. Okay, we are uh, almost to the boss. We have another area or two left to go through. I love how he just twirls his trident on his, like, hand like that. There we go. So, this is the last area, then we get to the boss. Oh, I don't dodge it that time, I get you. Well, if you stop jumping in the air, I wouldn't anti-air you like that, buddy. Also, you would take a lot less time to kill. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a very simple beat em up. Nothing really changes between levels, so some of the some of the enemies get new things. Like you saw one of the enemies early in the stage had a sword. Which, you know, cool. Adds a little bit of variety, but for how simplistic this game is, it's oddly satisfying. Though these frog guys annoy me because they don't die quickly. 
damage. They take like two combos to kill. Oh, I remember this part. Oh boy, what's that beeping me? <laughs> take that. By the way, as you can tell, as the beam is closing, um... You don't have to worry. As it closes, you can just stand up. Yeah, the bomb's not necessary. Ooh, I'm actually kind of low, low on health. Lisa, can I get some health? You wouldn't leave me without health game, would you? Hey, it would totally. There we go. Now onto the uh, boss. A ninja commando. I, I I don't know, but he's he's cool. Oh, ah, I was scratching my head. You can kind of chase him down a bit. He's not too bad. You just have to be aggressive. He has like a second form. Ah! Or a second phase. You, you'll know because he'll change weapons. Now our hitbox on that. There we go. Now he's gonna change to kunai. Kunai with chain. Well, that was kind of a waste. Oh well, he changed back to the sword. Like I said, as long as you stay on him and are very aggressive, he's a very oh. <laughs> That's a high. I ducked it. As long as you stay very aggressive, he's not that hard. He just has a lot of health. There we go. Nice. 8624. Now we go on to, for me, the most fun parts of the game. This might be a little bit of time, because... Let's see, we're 18 minutes in. You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to end the video here. Just to guarantee we don't take too much time in one video. So once they're done with this segment, we're going to head into the next segment. And uh, do the final portions of the game. So just so we don't skip anything, we'll wait through this sequence and see what happens. So right now they're essentially calling their Zords so they can form the Megazord. Megazord's pretty cool. I like it. It's got a good design in this game. So, it's going to give it a little bit. Nice. Alright. We're going to stop right there. Give you a sneak preview of this. This is going to be good. So, let me just pause it once I'm able to. Thanks to everyone that watched this video. Again, let's make sure we don't take too long. We're going to split this finale off into the next part. The next video, the finale, will show the final fights of the game. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. See ya!